Hi, this is Adam from Inflectora, and in today's video of Spira Team, we're going to be looking at how you can add requirements to your new project. So by now you should have Sample Application 2 available, and what you'll need to do is go to Planning Requirements, and this will bring up the Requirements Grid. And if you look at this grid, you'll notice the first line is the filter line. This is not where you enter requirements, but is actually how you can filter them. We'll be doing this later on. So to start out, we're going to be creating some requirements. So to do that, what we need to do is go into the toolbar and choose the Insert button. And that will enter a new requirement into the system. It will be in this highlighted row, and it will initially have the name New Requirement. So what we'll do is enter in some requirements. So first of all, we're going to enter in some functional requirements. So let's choose the name Functional Requirements. And I hit Enter on the keyboard, and that will save my item. I can also use the Save button on the right-hand side. And so what we'll do now is enter in Module 1. And I'm going to use the Save and New feature, just to save some time. And if you look here, I can then enter in all my requirements. So for this sample, we're going to have it so that we'll have three requirements under Module 1. One will be that the system must allow entry of users. Save a new. System must allow the modification of users. Save a new. System must allow the deletion of users. users. So that's our read, write, and delete. And then the second module, which will be module two, we're going to have an admin function. System must allow administrators to set up notifications. And these requirements and everything I'm doing today is actually in the Spire Team Quick Start Guide. So if you want to print that out and have that as a reference with you as you go through this video, um, that might be helpful. Uh, so we've got a list of requirements and they're in a giant flat list. Uh, right now there's no test coverage, no tasks, no priorities. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, one of the things you'll notice is that Spire Team does allow you to indent and outdent requirements. And so typically you're going to want to organize them to match the hierarchy. So we'll go in here and we'll move all of the requirements under function requirements. And then once that's done, what we'll do is move the other requirements under their module names. So let that finish first of all. So we'll then move these three. And you can use a shift select or you can just select the chat boxes, whatever's most convenient for you. We'll move those under module one. And if you want to, you can also use the right click menu just to show you how that would work. You can right click and go indent. And that's useful if you've got a single item and you're farther down the list. So you're having to go to the toolbar. Uh, another thing you could have done is you could have used the insert child requirement option to directly insert the children without having to do the indent. So that's another option you have as well. So we've now got all of our requirements in the system, in the project. But we now want to actually assign a priority value called the importance. Uh, the easy way to do the bulk editing is to choose the checkbox here that select all. And then we'll go to this edit button. When that's a bulk edit feature. That makes all the rows editable. And now what I'm going to do is assign a priority. And what I'll do is go into here and just choose critical. Critical, critical for these ones, let's say. We're going to make the this one here, maybe make this one medium, and maybe make these two at the end high. If you want to set a value for everything, there is an option to choose a value here and use the fill down icon. That will make them all the same value. And we're going to hit save. So you'll now see they all have a priority. The next thing we want to do is actually add an estimate. And we want to estimate that in function points or story points. And to do that, we also need to add a column. Because if you notice, there is no estimate field visible. Um, that's not a problem, though. We go in here and say, show estimate. And now we have an extra column. And you can show and hide columns depending on what you want to see. It's very flexible. I'm also going to hide the type column just so we don't have to scroll. Perfect. And now what I'll do is do the checkbox here and do edit. And you'd notice that there's actually a default estimate that we put in the system, so that makes things a bit easier. Um, but obviously, we don't want everything to be the same. So let's go in here and add some different values. So we'll make this one one and a half story points. The next one will make 2.0 story points. The third one will keep at 1.0, and we'll make this one 2.0. Hit save, exactly the same as before, and that will update all the values. And notice that the value for the lowest level requirements will permeate up the tree structure to the parents.
So, just to recap, we now have a list of prioritized and estimated requirements. The next task in the next video will be to enter in the list of releases and iterations to build our release and sprint plan. So until then, have a great day!